All right, so morning, guys. So this morning, I'm gonna be taking through you guys a walk through my little apron. This one is located directly behind my house, and I'm a hobbyist beekeeper. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you through the journey as of today of me going from a hobbyist to a commercial beekeeper. All right, so this is my apron. As you can see, I'm about up to I'm up to seven boxes at the moment. Um, so majority of them have double brew chamber so far, and one deep for the super. Um, this is pretty much we're pretty much at the end of the honey season. Like this month is the last month, and. I am about to just do a inspection to see what is there, what can I take, because I haven't drawn any honey as yet from my bees. I was a little bit slow into the season, so yeah, currently behind. So I'm just going to do a quick inspection to see where they are, where I need, what, what they need, if they need any space or anything, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna start it up from here so typically I normally start with that one over there and then move over to this one the second one there next one and I work my way up until this final box here all right so I'm gonna go gloves up and uh, yep get ready to to start that the smoker has enough fuel okay. so this is just bad for these guys so to make any wood material can be used as fuel you just need it to generate smoke but typically you want to stay away from things with any form of chemical you don't want any form of chemical in that you're going to be spraying into the house Central tool, smoker, and hive tool, and yeah, let's see if we can get started. All right. So this hive here, at the moment has been one of the most aggressive hives so far I have no idea why it is that they feel the need to be so aggressive I think it's because they probably start making honey so typical way how you enter the hive you give two to three smoke at the entrance one two three so that gives them the idea that there's probably a smoke so they are more concerned about honey and not so much me doing a check. Then you want to crack the top of the box and give it. So you want to crack the top of the box and give it about two puff. So one, two, three. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, now that I have it open, smoke them again. And I'm just going to do a quick glance through just to ensure that the queen is there, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So this one that I'm looking at right now, pretty much just a nectar fear frame. So they've just started filling this up, so I'm not so much interested in that. And this is another nectar frame. So they've just started filling it up. This one is just a script that they haven't started drying out as yet. So this hive is still pretty much in the first chamber, so I have to go down into the first chamber to see what's going on. I'm gonna crack it here. So we can see that these are about <sighs> they've used up all the frame down here in the door chamber so most likely I'm gonna have to give them more space down here. You see that they start flying up back again, you want to give them a little dab over the surface, just keep them calm so I can enter the box. that there are lots of drone brood and this one on honey arch so You can see larvae, brood. So this is another frame that I'm gonna be pulling up.
this one pretty much the same thing when you charge lots of gold so I'm pulling it over A strip, put it down in the blue trim that I allow them to expand. that this frame this empty frame here this will I put some of it